assalamu alaikum everyone welcome back to another vlog this vlog is uh, recorded over a few uh, days i'm going to share how i made this delicious burrito bowl and also come shopping with me for some shoes so my daughter is off to a residential for four days in Lockerbie. It's like a, an a outdoor activities where they do lots and lots of things like canoeing, abseiling, some um, sword fighting. I can't remember the name that you call it, but they do lots and lots of activities and, they, and it's very muddy and it's um, just quite physical. Um, and you do this in P7. Um, so she's 12 year old or an 11 year old will be going on this trip for four days with the school. So, and I didn't realize until she left her how much I missed her. I missed her so much. Anyway, so here I am making some Mexican um, inspired rice. So in this start, I sauteed some garlic, onions. I then added in yellow capsicum and then some tomato paste, added some water in for the stock, added some chicken stock in, some salt and cumin seeds, red chilli and lemon juice. Then I added in the rice that I soaked for a couple of hours and then just give it a quick stir. Then I added in lots of butter towards the end and fresh chopped coriander leaves and then I just gave it them. Now, in order to cover the water, I always do an andaza. I always use this one ungal method that you just saw me dipping my little finger in in the rice just to make sure that that's the right level of rice covered by water. If that makes sense. Probably enough water covered the rice. Oh my God, it's a tongue twister. Forgive me, I am fasting, so that's why. Anyway, these turned out really, really tasty and perfect. It's just nice to have this type of rice sometimes. So my son um, wanted to use this whisker that we recently got from my mother-in-law. So he whisked up the cream for the dates. He loves doing this. And this was what our diary looked. Now I'm presenting you the burrito bowl so in a bowl just add in your rice um, some salsa salad leaves um, and in the gima so this is the same sort of leftovers that I used for the smash tacos that you might have seen in my previous vlog if you've not seen it go and check that out because those smash tacos are so wonderful my kids keep requesting me to make them again and again so in the gima I actually added in red kidney beans so and in this bowl I'm just adding in the guacamole as well the sweet corn and the sour cream and some grated cheese as well. You can add whatever you feel like adding, but when you add in all these things, it just tastes so nice together. It's really, really tasty. And it's a good way of using up leftovers. So the next day, as we were leaving, we saw the snowy tops in the hills that are just across the estate, so pretty. Assalamu alaikum everyone, I hope you all are well. So we have come to Fort. Um, I need trainers because my trainers are broken and they hurt my feet when I wear them. So anyway, so come to pick up Fort. Trainers are oh, can't even speak anymore, honestly. It's so bad. Um, anyway, yeah. So here we are. So I really dislike going shoe shopping. I have plantar fasciitis and low arch. So it's a real mission to find shoes like trainers um, where I'm you know, wearing them all the time that are comfortable. But Alhamdulillah, I did find some. So after that, I just we would just went straight home. I don't have the stamina to do lots of shopping or browsing shops, so it was a quick trip. And then as soon as I got home, um, I rested and slept and then I woke up and quickly prepared iftari with the family and I made these delicious bengen kapakore and some noodles and that's it. Anyway, I'll see you in the next vlog and take care until then.